it's I don't know. It's it's I don't know. I mean, you know, look, if I would have if, if it was going to be a lesson learned, I might have learned it. People's years of hard work into rap careers can be ended by a sentence or two by Eminem. So rappers try to keep his name out of their mouth when dissing. Allow us to show you the main reasons why rappers avoid this at all costs. It's deeper than you think. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I can't see anyone doing other than this standing up and being like, damn, homie. It's been a long time coming. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it. So take the path of respect, young ones, and don't go the path of dissing, because he takes it personal. Got a couple of mansions, but I still don't have any manners. You got a couple of goat writers, but to these kids, it don't actually matter. In a recent Netflix slash ESPN documentary called The Last Dance, Michael Jordan revealed one of the biggest keys to his success, mainly that he was a man who was so driven to victory that he would take any slate, any single light slate, against him and use it as fuel to burn everything down on the court. At times, he would even make up stuff after a bad game just so he had that fuel. What does that have to do with Eminem? Simple. He is the same way, and not so ironically, both Michael Jordan and Eminem are considered goats in their craft by many. When it comes to the disses that Eminem has taken over the years, it's been obvious which ones are going to be ignored. He's above such things, unlike Michael at times, and which ones were going to get a response. And when he did respond, he went after those people like it was the biggest diss in the world. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not. It could be a random line about Eminem or something about his look or his lines and lyrics and such, or how he almost overdosed and so on and so forth. It doesn't matter. He will come after you if you're not careful. And if we're being honest here, why wouldn't he? Some of these disses include raps about about him, his family, sometimes they make fun of how he came up in the music industry or his age, and on and on. These kinds of disses would affect a regular person, and then you got Eminem being dissed, that's just a recipe for disaster for the person dissing Eminem. Fear is a powerful motivator, and Eminem uses it beautifully, kind of like Batman, though I'm sure I recall him being Robin one time. Eminem is by far and large a legend in the rap game, full stop. He is without a doubt one of the major reasons why rap blew up even more in the 2000s, as he was the biggest musical artist on the planet. For real, no one else sold more than him in those 10 years years, and his awards and record sales helped prove why he was so dominant. But in terms of why people would use that to not go after him, it's about respect. Now sure, the prison rule, if you will, is that you find the toughest guy and take him down so that you show you're tough, but in the rap game, it's much more progressive and smart to respect those that came before you instead of going after them. For two, so how am I supposed to know if you're direct? I don't know, so I'm not going to speak on something I don't know. That's why I'm not speaking on it. The ones that do that try and take on their elders usually get backhanded into oblivion. And yeah, Eminem has done that in the past to various rappers who should have known better, but didn't. More than that though, Eminem has done so much for the community over the years that his respect isn't just earned, it's deserved. He really is the rap god in many respects, and while it's true that he's not at the very top of his game anymore like he was 20 years ago, that doesn't mean that he has an open target on his back. That just means that he's bowing out of times to make sure that the younger talent get their shots, much like he did once upon a time via Dr. Dre. I was trying to get the, re the reaction I wanted was to spark him even more than he's been sparked lately. And ironically, while it's not vocalized, it's very clear that many young rappers wanted help from Eminem, he'd probably give it. The nuclear option. So far, we've been a little vague in the disses that Eminem has dished out to those who have been foolish enough to try him. But let's get a little more specific now into how he's proven why you don't go up against Eminem, and we'll start out with one of the most insane instances of all, him versus Mariah Carey. Now, what people forget or choose to ignore, your choice, is that Eminem and Mariah Carey were somehow a couple once upon a time. We try not to think about it, to be honest with you, it's just too weird for us. But regardless of that, it happened, and not surprisingly, the relationship didn't end on the best of terms. We bet Mariah was the cause. Thing with Mariah. Mm -hmm. He was one of the first people like, hey, bro, we need let you want to we can go handle it. <laughs> now it could have ended there and nothing would have happened. But then Mariah decided to go and make a song and diss Eminem in it, which she should have known would have prompted a response. Yet here's the rub and proof that you don't screw with Slim Shady. Not only was he willing to respond to her via a track called The Warning, he was willing to go nuclear on her. What do we mean by that? Quite simply, he dissed Mariah in a song and then literally warned her via the track that if she didn't shut her mouth about him, that he would go nuclear and reveal all the intimate details of their life together, which we're pretty sure you can guess what exactly that all entails. The point here is that Eminem didn't care about looking bad in this instance. You could even argue that he crossed the line by putting this in a song instead of just warning Mariah outright, which arguably would have had the same effect. Plus, these intimate details likely would have hurt Eminem too, but he didn't care. 
Garrett. He was slighted by a former lover, and that means she had to burn. Not surprisingly, Mariah heeded that warning, shocking no one. And if he's willing to do that to a former love, what would he do against someone he doesn't have a real connection with? The slow reply. I know some of y'all are wondering, and uh, yeah, I heard that bullshit. Now when you think of rappers as a whole, you see them as sometimes rather impulsive people, right? Between their lyrics, their antics, and more, they seem like wild animals at points, just lashing out at anything that moves, which works for them in many cases. But with Eminem, while he lashed out at many within days or weeks of a certain insult or diss, he's also gone the other way and waited years for his replies to come. That's a lot of stirring. The best example of this is his beef with Machine Gun Kelly. Kelly was actually a major fan of Eminem for a very long time, and you could argue that he made his look similar to Eminem's because it works. But eventually, he made a critical mistake. He said a not-so-appropriate line about Eminem's daughter, Haley. So I'll tell you, I had a clip ready. I heard kill shot and I put that back in the holster. I'm like, oh, word. All right. And if you somehow don't know, Eminem really treasures his daughter and would do anything for her. But yet, despite the line, Eminem didn't respond to it for years until Kamikaze came out. More on that later. In Kamikaze, he made various lines to Machine Gun Kelly, prompting a feud back in 2018. It was actually one of the biggest things around for a while, because after Kamikaze, Machine Gun Kelly made a diss track of his own via Rap Double, an antithesis of Slim Shady's Rap God. This time, Eminem didn't wait to bring the hurt. He took it straight to MGK via Kill Shot, which set a YouTube record for listens slash views, despite it only being a lyric video. The point of this particular lesson is that when it comes to Eminem, you might think that you've gotten away with murder of the man via a diss, but that just means that he's stewing and waiting for you to let your guard down so he can strike, which he's done against better people than you. He'll go after his own family. A tongue sharper than a razor, and everybody, everybody knows and is literally seeing cut anybody down in a second. Who you diss and go after with your tracks says a lot about you. And for Eminem, he has made a career after going after going for big names, small names, and more. But arguably the most shocking to rappers all over was that he went after his own family twice. This is important for a wide variety of reasons, but the most important thing is that Eminem has not had the best life in terms of loving relationships. His father left when he was very young, and his mother wasn't the most stable person ever. Their constant moving was a fuel to Eminem because of how he was being treated at schools where he was basically an outsider. Eventually, this boiled up via the track Cleaning Out My Closet, where he went after his mother with words and spelled out all sorts of things about her that led to the life they had, including insinuating that it was because she was an addict that they had to keep moving around. She flipped at this and actually sued her own son in court, which backfired on her royally in multiple ways, but we won't break that down here. However, just as ironically, this wasn't the end of it. Most Eminem fans know about his ex-wife and Kim. They had been together for a while when he started rapping, but when he made it big in the industry, their relationship fell apart. They got divorced, then remarried, then divorced again, which at first was mutual, but then she tried to take Haley away from him, and that was when he made the song Kim, when he not only sang about her, but he went on stage one time with a blow-up doll that he named Kim to help enforce the point of what was going on between them. So look at this from the young rapper's perspective. This man just went after his mother and his former wife in songs and eviscerated them. What would he be willing to do to them if given the chance or the motivation? Freestyle of the President. Give Obama props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze. Rappers aren't the kind of musicians you'd expect to get political for one reason or another, not the least of which is that they usually don't care who's in the White House unless it directly affects them, which Donald Trump definitely fits into that category. Before his return to fame via Kamikaze, Eminem made an unexpected appearance in an award show that allowed him several minutes to cut a freestyle rap, in which he rapped a new one on President Trump. The lyrics in this case are inconsequential because the fact that he took it to the highest level of government in front of a nation, in front of a national audience. Yeah, that shows how fearless he is, a fact not lost on many young rappers today. In fact, Eminem versus Trump was apparently a feud that lasted longer than people think, because Eminem has claimed multiple times that the Secret Service came to his home and asked him questions and even searched him, which is a crazy thing to consider that the the president would consider Slim Shady a threat. But then again, this is Trump we're talking about here. Ironically, not everyone at the award show was feeling the rap, but that didn't matter. The message was sent. Eminem's made his very emotional feelings felt and heard by all who were listening. And as a result of that, Eminem earned even more fame and notoriety. How many other rappers do you know that went after a president like that? And you want to go up against Eminem? Not smart. Kamikaze. Shady's disdain for mumble rap is widely known. On Not Alike, he mockingly interpolates Migos' number one hit, Bad and Bougie. Now let's discuss one of the biggest pieces of proof as to why people are afraid to go up against Eminem in any capacity, Kamikaze. You see, for years after his near-death experience, Eminem decided to alter his style of rap just enough to reflect his new mindset. He did albums labeled after the hardships he was going through, like Relapse and Revival. He tried to put even more heart into his music and accepted responsibility for the rap lyrics he was bursting out. But apparently, that was a problem for a lot of people, because they didn't want this new Eminem 
Eminem. They wanted the old Eminem. They wanted Slim Shady back and at full power. For years, Eminem went and ignored them and continued to do the music he felt he needed to do to be true to his reborn self. He even did a track with Beyonce, which is cool in its own right. But then he decided that enough was enough. He went full on postal on people, made on people and made Kamikaze, an album that wasn't just to get him back in the limelight, but to vent every frustration and retort at just about every single insult that had been thrown his way. He went off on big rappers who had beef with him back in the day, or up and coming rappers who didn't deserve to be in the rap game. He called out Trump again, he called out mumble rappers, he brought it all to the table, and the world took notice. Finally, Eminem has some general words for the rap game, while anointing a few MCs to carry the torch. Eminem was truly back. Not surprisingly, Kamikaze was a number one hit, and everyone was put on notice, and for good reason. He dedicated basically a whole album to dissing people. What would he do against just one person who wanted to try and get famous off of his name? His views on rap. As far as anybody out here that, that does use ghostwriters, that's fine. One of the reasons that Eminem is so big in the rap game is that he really does believe in the power of rap. This wasn't just a hobby for him, he worked hard through places like the Detroit Underground and the battle rap community to go and try and refine his craft to an incredible degree. Not to mention, he was mentored by the one and only Dr. Dre, who is a legend of rap in every way. So because of that, Eminem has a very distinct belief in what rap should be and what it shouldn't be. He truly feels that it's something that should be respected, honored, and most importantly, told the right way. Because what many people forget is that the best rappers are the ones who use the songs to tell stories stories, or even help start movements, like with NWA, which Dre was a part of, or Eminem's hit songs Lose Yourself and Stan, telling two different stories about, about the world of rapping and the celebrity that comes with it. In contrast though, a growing movement in rap right now is called mumble rap, where younger rappers decided to forego the lyrical side of things and make very basic songs, sometimes even incredibly short ones, and thus boil rap down to its basics and nothing more. Eminem hates this, and has gone off on mumble rappers time and time again, including making songs with fellow lyrical rappers like Logic to help ensure that they know they're on notice. Any Mumble rapper is fair game to Eminem in his eyes because they're disrespecting his love, his genre, and that's a no-go. And yet people still want to try and take shots. Stupidity versus brains. You might think based on that last entry that Eminem is being a bit mean in his hating of a subgenre of his own, but in truth there are many reasons that he's absolutely right about it. But even going into a more bold sense, it seems that when it comes to the younger crop of rappers, most of them have ignored the desire for respect the ones like Eminem, Drake, Logic, and more have basically grown up appreciating in the game. Respect builds character and helps, you know, where you came from, and helps you know where you came from, but for some of them, it just doesn't register. And that right there is why Eminem goes after people at times. They don't respect him and they think they're being cute by throwing raps and disses his way. You might recall the Eminem Nick Cannon feud that ended earlier this year. They started because Nick Cannon got a bug up his butt and thought he should call out his former rival via Mariah, and it didn't end well for him, which carried over into 2020 if you read the news. Thankfully, some of the young rappers know when they cross the line. Like the most ironic case, 6ix9ine made a social media post saying that he was better than Eminem, and then he deleted it quickly to ensure he didn't get the wrath of Slim Shady. So the bottom line here is, if you have brains, you know not to go after Eminem. If you don't, well nice knowing you. Who's next? Hey buddy. All you can eat. That's good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So throughout this list, we've shown you all the various ways that Eminem has proven he's not a guy to mess with, to fuming over slates for years, to going after, to going after high and mighty powers, to dissing his own family, he's done it all, and regrets very little. Yet despite all this, there is little doubt that someone will get the itch to go after Slim Shady again. Who will it be? It's hard to say, but when it happens, Eminem will make sure they regret it big time. So there you have it, a look at Eminem and the reasons why people need to think twice before dissing him at all. Do you see now why people have a deep respect for the diss game that Eminem has? Which of these takedowns that we've referenced is your personal favorite of the bunch let me know in the comments down below be sure to subscribe i'm king trending and i'll see you next time a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway we will be giving away either an iphone x max the new ipad mini or a macbook pro it's really your choice so be sure to leave a like comment the keyword subscribe and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway it's really that simple go for it